This week, I'm going to do a what I eat in a week video. Today for breakfast, I'm having a nice big bowl of oatmeal. I mixed in ground chia seeds and flax seeds with Red Mill's Old Fashioned Oats, cooked them in the microwave, and then I added one whole banana, a bunch of blueberries, peanut butter, and hemp seeds. I am so excited for my lunch today because I'm trying something new and exciting. I'm trying out this new vegan cheese today. I've actually never tried this before. I hope this is good. It looks and feels like cheese. It smells like cheese. Ooh, there's a little aftertaste. There's something on this ingredient list called vegan natural flavors. Like what does that even mean? Well, it tastes decent. I can definitely consume it. This is the final product. Got some grilled chicken with salt, pepper, oregano, topped with roasted red peppers, some melted vegan mozzarella cheese on top, and some spinach on the side. I think I liked it. Now I'm just having a handful of blueberries. I just had a couple of wheat thins as a little snack. We are on our way to pick up our dinner. Say hi, Joe. <laughs> I am getting the black sea bass with gold bar squash, spring onion, yellow peppercorn sauce, a petite salad of daikon radish. I have no idea what any of that means. <laughs> Kinda smells funny. What, yours? But it's just fish, it just smells like fish. Cote de Roses, yum. So pretty on the bottom. Yeah, I like the bottom. Me too. The I'm pretty upset I can't find song right now. Hi guys. Happy Saturday. I just made myself some breakfast. I just heated up a small pan, sprayed some olive oil cooking spray on it, cracked one egg in, and then added a bunch of egg whites. That is the main protein source of my breakfast. Then I have some carbs. I am eating Dave's, Dave's Killer, Killer bread. bread, 21 whole grains. There's a variety of different Dave's Killer bread that you can get, but they're all like semi different, but semi the same. <laughs> try it if you want. I actually really want to try this new vegan butter that I just bought. It looks like butter, kind of-ish. I brew. This is the final product. I kind of like dug into the toast already, but whatever. Yum! About to snack on some wheat thins. Thank you, have a good one. Now we are on our way to a winery, which I'm excited for. I hope it doesn't rain. It's in the forecast, but like, you never know. I'm eating a freaking pizza because there's no healthy options on the menu and this is the only food available, but it looks so good! I mean, it looks okay. Mm. Hey guys, it's Sunday and I am extremely tired. We went to bed pretty late last night. I ended up ordering a quesadilla from a Mexican restaurant. So I had pizza and a quesadilla yesterday. But it was delicious and no regrets. Right now I'm just having like a late breakfast brunch type of situation. I'm having literally the same exact breakfast that I ate yesterday and we'll take it from there. I'm about to do a meditation. After I meditate, I'll probably go to Jersey City and get, I really want Lackawanna coffee. I don't want the coffee. I really want this turmeric latte. Lackawanna Cafe in Jersey City. Highly recommend if you live in the area. Constantly filming. You're in a reality show now, Joe. It would appear so. <laughs> Not too bad. Just going for a little nice little stroll. I am back. I am home. 
Joe is doing a little NFL draft thing with his friends right now, virtually, which starts at 6, starts right now, so we are going to have dinner together once he's done with that, but I am extremely hungry, so I'm gonna make myself a little appetizer. I just have a bed of arugula, some tri-colored tomatoes, and that vegan mozzarella cheese. And of course, I put some balsamic vinegar and oil. For dinner, I am going to cook up some jumbo, pre-cooked shrimp, and some green beans. I am very sweaty. It is a Monday. I just went on a three-mile run with Joey Boy. Joey Boy! I'm about to go eat some breakfast and start my work day. I am having a half of a grapefruit and then just some fried up egg whites with avocado on top. Previously, right before this, I just ate a banana right after my run. I'll see you guys at lunch. Today for lunch, I'm having a little healthier take on a Caesar salad. Rather than having a bed of romaine lettuce, I mixed together some arugula and spinach top that off with some grilled chicken then instead of croutons i just added chickpeas and some cucumbers for an extra little crunch and i actually use newman's own light caesar dressing i just like sporadically bought this caesar dressing and it's very good i'm going to make myself some organic brown rice pasta for dinner with some eggplant sauce and vegan cheese on top yum magnificent I just made these classic flourless banana coconut almond butter muffins. I am going to have one of these as a snack and that'll be the last thing I eat today. Do you guys ever have those mornings where you just like immediately need coffee? Today's one of those days. <laughs> To start my breakfast off, I just had a half of a grapefruit. Now I am eating a waffle. I'm having a hard boiled egg now with a little salt and pepper. Today for lunch, I'm just having a salad with a bed of spinach, some of my leftover vegetables, string beans, roasted chickpeas, pre-cooked shrimp from the freezer, one hard boiled egg, and some avocado. This is my dinner tonight. I just have a baked chicken breast here with garlic, salt, pepper, balsamic vinegar and oil, Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower on the side, along with Dave's Killer bread. On one half, I added avocado and pepper, and on the other half, I added vegan butter. And that's my dinner. Yummy. Today for breakfast, I'm having steel cut oatmeal topped with ground chia and flax seeds, bananas, peanut butter, and hemp seeds. Literally just like mix it all up. Yum. It's not as aesthetically pleasing now, but it tastes delicious. Today for lunch, I'm having a salad with a bed of spinach, grilled chicken, roasted red peppers, cherry tomatoes, and vegan mozzarella cheese. I dressed my salad with balsamic vinegar and oil, cracked black pepper, and oregano. And then on the side, I'm having an avocado toast. Wow, 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 wow. I just took these out of the oven. I got really hungry for a snack, and I decided to make some of my infamous chocolate bean brownies. I'll attach the recipe right here. Mm. For dinner, I'm having two hard boiled eggs and a bunch of tomatoes, balsamic vinegar and oil, a little salt and pepper, and then I have some eggplants in the oven. Cooking away, ooh, my camera just got foggy, but yeah. We made it to the end of the week. Today is Thursday. I started this what I eat in a week video last Friday. So today is the last day that I will be filming my consumption of the day, which is kind of weird, but we live in a world where we go on the internet and we watch what people eat. Last night I indulged in another brownie and it was really, really good. Today for breakfast, I'm having an egg white scramble with cooked tomatoes, a little bowl of oatmeal with banana, peanut butter, and chia seeds, and one fourth of a grapefruit. I just made the most delicious thing for lunch. I baked a chicken breast at 350 degrees with a bunch of seasonings on top, 
oil and balsamic vinegar. Then on the side here I have a boiled sweet potato, some string beans made with garlic, eggplant leftover from yesterday, some ground up chickpeas with turmeric, pepper, salt, avocado on the side here, and then just a few slices of a banana pepper from our garden. How delicious does this look? For dinner, I met up with Joe to make some baked cod with parsley, onion, garlic, and lemon. On the side, we had brown rice and a salad with cucumbers, tomatoes, and avocado. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate everybody who has watched any of my videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. Hey. Hi. Would you be down to get Lackawanna? Wow, it's so funny. I was just thinking about this, and I actually wanted to get that. I was going to suggest that as we were going over there. Great minds think alike, you know? Yes, they do.